ba ba da bam Fucking internet. I knew that was going to happen actually today. Was the storms coming in? I don't wear. Sorry about that, guys. Gotta love storms. I wonder if I uh, record it before the stitches. Obviously, I'm so used to Twi uh, YouTube where you never need to worry about disconnection. Let's have a look, yeah. Ooh, it did. Oh, it's fine. But anybody. I'll do that one. Brown, brown, brown. Man, that is definitely one reason I like YouTube's video system. Because if you ever disconnect, you never have to worry about it. It has the best, best stitching system ever I've ever seen. I think anyone uh, would agree. Oof, look at the drop frames, man. The fuck is wrong with Twitch? Like, Ugh. yeah, would uh, so on YouTube, you can be offline. It, it doesn't shut the stream down at all until you're back. You know. Again, mic error. Uh, it shouldn't be. Damn it, Gary, I died. But yeah, YouTube, um, YouTube system is so good, man. So, so good. Like, hands down, one of the best video systems you'll ever see. Especially, like, if you're a content creator and you use it. Because the, there's a great feature on YouTube where uh, you can make it where if OBS goes offline, YouTube doesn't go offline. It stays and waits for you until you reconnect. Unlike Twitch that goes, you've got 90 seconds or we're, we're shitting your, your uh, broadcast. Which is fair enough, you know. But again, I love the fact that you never need to worry about split videos. Oh, jazz. Hey, dude, before. Hey, you doing? Just chilling out, dude. PTU is still whacked. My internet cut out there. I have storms. Storms brewing. So, yeah. How's your dingman, chief? What is the time limit for a blue screen? Uh, what, in Star Citizen? Stream? Got to, uh, elaborate a little bit more on that question there. And again, sorry guys for the, uh, the stream cutting out. I live rural. I have 4G. Storms kill me. Uh, I would love to actually be able to afford Starlink by the end of this year. That would be amazing. Because... Even if that was like me, mean it means that I would always have the 4G's backup, you know. So the moment my internet cuts out, I could just swap it, and it would be so sick, and wait for it to come back, and then cut it back. I want Starlink. Well, let's face it, I ain't ever getting fiber. That's for sure. I ain't never getting fiber. 
Imagine if they did though. Imagine they went Dark Claw. You are clear to launch. <laughs> yeah, that would be probably about right. You're clear to launch. Here is one gig up, one gig down. It's never gonna go down for you. Don't ever worry about it. I'd be like, well, that's very generous of you. Thank you. How much will that cost for you? Nothing. Amazing. Bargain. I'll take it. I'll take a spare. Yeah, you've got to refresh. I don't understand why it makes you refresh the stream. You see it? You know what I mean? It's so frustrating. But Twitch definitely needs to catch up with how uh, how uh, YouTube do things for the video stuff. It's just so clean, you know? I'm looking at the stupid... Oh god, here we go. I love how you pop into my channel to tell me. Uh, my neighbor is... Oh, all right, okay. Oof, I thought you were going to tell me some crazy tech. It's out there mowing the lawn. The snow just left, so there's really no reason to mow the lawn. And earlier this week, we had a windstorm, and the neighbor had a bunch of aluminium cans blow away all the, the lawn. But rather than stopping to pick them up, they're just running over them with the lawnmower. <laughs> Zero fucks given. <laughs> Absolute Chad. Zero fucks given. <laughs> Screw it. I'm just gonna mow everything down. Um, it's actually it works out at Starlink for me would be eighty a month. Uh, eighty a month, which is only twenty pounds more than I pay just now. Uh, so and it would be like a hundred up hundred down, which would be so so good. You know what I'm saying? Like I I genuinely would love Just a little bit more juice, you know That's not bad. No, no Where is dark law? I'm right here Hello I bet, I bet you people can't see me because of the crash, you know Right here. That's very true, yeah, 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 yeah. But again, if I was able to afford it and I'm still doing my full content creation job, you know what I mean? It would be definitely worth it to have more juice available because I can't stream. I can't stream and download at the same time, Merlin. Uh, with Starlink, I think I would be able to download and it wouldn't fluctuate the upload that much. Like on Twitch or something like that, which would be really good. Because, let's face it, I'm never going to get like a 1 gig line here. So 100 down, 100 up for £80 a month, unlimited. I will take that over spending £60 a month for 40 40 if you know what I mean, unlimited. Yeah. But it's not until September for my area, so I got plenty of time to try and see, you know. in a very long time. get uh, well my ping on most games is 39 meta face which is pretty good uh, if I'm playing on like an America it'd be like a hundred uh, hundred ping or something so 
the latency on 4G is... You, you can't even use the old ways of saying it. 4G is just as good as somebody being hardwired, basically, right now. The only difference is I just have a, a little bit higher ping, you know? But latency is just juicy. I've never had an issue. Never had an issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't think your cats would like me living in your basement, to be honest. You're a fire. I'm pretty sure the wolves as well. <laughs> They'll be trying to get upstairs all the time. Alright, let's do this. I have not. Oh, 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 God damn it. You ruined it. <laughs> ruined. Reset.
Where's all the bounty hunters? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Nah. I think people are just not playing. Simple as that. People are just not playing. Mining. I'm not sure if that was me or not. It might have been. It happened so fast, I didn't even see. Possible I hit the right wing. Then it would have just snapped off, like. It was quite far away, that rock. Maybe. I will go with I do not know. That's it. I don't know. I don't know if that was me or the game. I, I literally can't tell. It could be. Didn't look like you had anything to me. The right wing was very close to quite a big, uh, quite a big rock. But again, with the how distance I would be, it would have just sheared it off. Basically, it wouldn't have exploded. There might have been something that I hit on the engine, like maybe the engine dipped down. I, again, I would have to put my hand up as a, like, possible me, but I, I, I can't tell. Somebody would have had to watch it. So we'll just do a 50-50 on that way. I don't know if it's the game, I don't know if it's me. There's a very good chance that it was. Nice moves, you like it, dude. The, the funny thing is, no joke, Killjoy, I could never make the arrow do these movements before on just dual joystick. I literally have changed my flight styles 
so much in the past uh, year. Well, not year actually, like a few months by using the uh, pedals and Z axes. It is insane, insane what you can do with pedals and these uh, Z axes. Not that you should, like, it doesn't help with PvP or, or anything like that. I'm just purely for controlled flight like that. It blows me out of the water how much the pedals actually allow me to have that analog control over my rudder. Yeah, I got crosswinds with a hydraulic dampener, Bumblebee. And the, you know the craziest thing? Even with the hydraulic dampener, it's cheaper than Verpals. Even <laughs> it's cheaper and they're custom made and they come so well boxed. No joke. I've got exclamation mark kit if you need it or if anyone wants to see quickly here what pedals I use. Because obviously I don't have a camera for that area. But the MFG crosswinds, hands down. So I'll give you the... Um link to it which would be these are the graphite but you would graphite color you can have them in the white color if you want uh, I would suggest these pedals the the combat universal ones if you're going for it right I'll drop the the link here um I had the ones that came with it, which were these, but I feel these are more for a car than a plane. So I have these ones now where my heel is over the top, or the back, sorry, like it's full, my heel goes here. I don't know if you can actually see it, yeah. So my heel goes over here, so the bottom of my boot is here and my toe is just basically in there, and it does not move, it's locked in place, I can't slip out of it if I wanted to. And, but... Why I feel these are the best pedals ever that you can get is because of this right here. And it fits on every single model because you can get the, it comes with the conversion kit, a hydraulic dampener. It's so, do you want the drunk law? I've not had any alcohol since October, uh, Lur, so no idea when that would ever happen. I'm not saying like I'm teetotal, it's just I've not had anything. How big is your ugly foot? Um, my feet are beautiful. They're just beautiful. But this, this is the game changer right here. This little bit of kit. Because I don't, I don't even have springs. I don't have any springs apart from the ones that are for tilting the pedals, but all of this is on the dampener. I don't even have the spring connected that would uh, tension it up. It, they're just loose. And it's purely, I've got this on setting 10 because I'm just back to it. So it does, I think, like 25 settings. If you put on 25 settings, it's, it's a nasty workout on your legs. But I've got them on 10 just now for that silky smooth movement. But this, th if you're going to get crosswinds, do not hesitate to buy these. Add it straight to the cart. Don't give a fuck. Get this shit in. Because this, it, it's just so silky, smooth. Like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's like you're pushing through some just beautiful, creamy butter, you know? So if you have got the the crosswinds, this fits on version 1 and 3. I've got version 3, that's the latest model. Um, but the it actually comes with, the, that's the conversion kit there. Because on version 3, it just plugs in there and there. And they're gimbal uh, sockets as well. So you've got the hydraulic piston. You've got the gimbal socket. So the, the, gim the socket moves like that. It's got no like solid friction and it's just like, or, or like that. It literally gimbals depending on how much you're abusing it. The dude's thought of everything. Um, and then the, you get for free the conversion kit for version one and um, three. And it's very easy to fit. Version one and two, sorry. Without a doubt. And this is not me just, cause I have got no affiliation with the dude. If I was ever to get these pedals, uh, it's with this bit of kit. This makes it, in my opinion. But the pedals alone are in, are incredible. 
And you can get all sorts of little components and all that jazz. But I love the fact that you can choose what different uh, pedals to go for. If I had the money, I'd maybe try them out. The P51 Mustang's quite like the Universal. But I would like to try the Thunderbolt. You know? It's, a, it's just a solid piece of kit, man. It's so beautiful as well. And for me, it's cheaper than Verpal. Uh, if Verpal had pedals with dampeners, would I have used them? Maybe. Maybe. But it's, it's purely for the cost. It's just so good. Can't, can't fault these pedals. I've been using them for like six months now. And without a doubt, the shit that I can do in the Arrow on Daymar now... Um, obviously, I'm getting back into them, so I'm, fair, I'm very wonky in compared to what I was doing before I went on my break. Um, the guys on, on YouTube will know exactly the, the crazy shit that I was doing. Uh, and it took me like a few days to get used to the pedals and dial them in. But no joke, there's no way some of the maneuvers I can do without pedals. You can't do it with dual joystick. Impossible. Because you don't have the analog control. Yeah, I had to put the dance mat away. It just wasn't cutting it compared to the pedals. It was just so good. And I'm so glad. However, the downside is my low flying and flight has become incredible, precise. Uh, my PVP is shit. <laughs> Absolutely shit. Because obviously I spent many, 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 many years just with dual joystick. And it's taken me a wee while to program the ba brain to use pedals as yaw. So I think definitely in 317 I would like to get into Arena Commander. I'm going to get violated by all the, the, the pros in there. But I would like to just get beaten senseless until I can get my aim back again, you know. Use two axes on the pedals then, or just the rudder? I just use it as rudder control. So my left joystick, uh, Galifier, still does up and down strafe because with the Z axes, it's like a motorbike. And you, if you break the spring doing this, which is very small movement, and you can see how much... Look how much I've got it where the fucking up and down is going. And I'm barely moving it. Barely moving it. Because I've got it so fucking loose in sensitivity. Um, but yeah, all the pedals do is if you see here, they just move the uh, speedometer up and down. So if I want to lock my SEM speed, for example, you know, like if I lock SEM speed, I can use my pedals to raise it or bring it down, which I really like the action. I I, I don't think, I don't like anything else uh, with that, that kind of setup. I, I would just literally use my rudders for brakes, uh, if we ever get them, like actual air brakes. If we get that, um, I'll never use it for space brakes, I don't know. I'd violate you. <laughs> I don't know, like... Do I, do I have to do I, do I have to get do I have to get security for <laughs> It's been 15 years. Be gentle, please be gentle. <laughs> I'm like I'm at this stage I'm probably pretty sure anything to do with romancing the bedroom anything in that category i have no fucking idea of what to do these days 15 years no no relationship like but that's that's me like i just i think i'm getting to the, the stage where i just don't care about these things now you have version two uh it just goes um uh, just goes right though uh, what do you mean oh with the um the configuration thing for the the hydraulic, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Galafier, I just literally have locked my right, and I just use it as your... I know a lot of people use uh, pedals as roll, um, which is completely fine. It's down to how you prefer it, but I like to have it where my joysticks are set up as 
uh, true flight. So my x-axis is my roll, pitch and yaw, um, or sorry, pitch is on the, the joystick with the Y, and my uh, yaw is on the pedals. The difference is I have them inverted on the pedals. It's really strange. So my left pedal goes right, my right pedal goes left. And the reason I can only explain it to you, because obviously I can fly in real life, and if I was playing like IL-2, it would be traditional. But the reason I think I like it this way in Star Citizen is because when I'm drifting, I just lock my left foot, and then when I'm drifting this way, I just lock my right foot. And that's the only way I can explain why I prefer it inverted in Star Citizen. That thing is strong too. Oh, the dampener. You've got it at 7. Yeah, I've come back. I used to have it I think, 15 or 20 um, when I was doing Star Citizen every day. But I've put it at 10. And I'm, a I'm actually really liking it at 10. I don't think I'm going to change it. Because I quite like the fact that I can just... You know, I don't have to apply too much pressure. Or if I want to go extreme, I can go extreme. Um, I think down past 10 is ridiculous. If you max it out, no joke. You're not playing Star Citizen for very long. It's, it's incredible how that dampener works. Yeah, exactly, graphics. So I think that's just how the brain likes it. Um, however, obviously, ever since I got pedals, my PvP skills are just completely dead. I've not spent any time uh, learning or anything like that. So I think if desync is sort of better, I would like to get into PTU and s learn at least a little bit better in the aiming skills against the players. I know I'm not going to be able to kill everyone, or maybe I might get lucky and stuff. I'm not looking into Arena Commander for that. I'm looking to just not catch up, but just better myself because my flying's always going to be great. That's built in muscle memory, but my, my aiming is so off right now because I'm so used to just twisting the joystick to do the yawing at the same time, and I got it very, very precise. But, um, yeah, I don't think I would ever go back. It would always be pedals and the joysticks. And again, ever since I went this way, I don't think I could ever go back to just, uh, vertical, um, joysticks. I really love them in the kind of, like, 20% arc as it is just now. And I definitely love the way that I can pitch and it feels like a throttle, left hand, you know, right. It's just, it's a lot more cleaner for what I do. Does it help in PvP? No. Do the pedals require for PvP? No. Again, what I'm talking about is, I could not do some of these movements, like this, without pedals beforehand on dual joystick. The ability to swing one way and swing the other and keep it precise. Can you do it with dual joysticks? Yes, but you're never going to have it as silky smooth if you're using like twist and stuff like that. Because obviously you're you're comparing uh, an analog um, hydraulic to like springs in a twist. It, it just doesn't compare, you know. It just gives you that really silky movement man it's just so beautiful and again only star citizen allows you to actually do it because well we're flying spaceships that also look like jet fighters and yeah you gotta kind of let go of that get back into the swing of things yeah. it's gonna take a wee while but i'm not looking to like beat people in flight or flight or anything like that it would just be to, to improve oneself. Is that on your slide or pedal push? Um, so my... This action is what you see here just now. So I'm doing left foot, right foot, because I have it inverted for some reason. And then the push pedal here is increase SEM speed and push uh, left foot is... Uh, lower SEM speed, but I don't really use them, you know. This is really interesting, I'm running vertical uh, dual verbals myself mounted on my chair, so hearing about the pedals is really cool. Starflame, 
you don't need pedals for the game. But the moment that it clicks, you're like, why the fuck didn't I have them ages ago? It's, it's so bizarre. And obviously you got to then go with, I need to learn dual joystick, head movement, keyboard and mouse, pedal movement, all that stuff. But if you practice and you 1% every day, you too will also be able to do it. That's what I'm afraid for in my wallet. Well, the thing is as well, if you've got dual verbals, a few months saving for the pedals. Again, it's not going to affect your flight right now. It's not going to affect your flight right now. So instead of being like, oh, I need to get this. No, just wait a few months, two or three months, you know? Two or three months, save up the money, get the pedals and then be like, like treat yourself to like a summer holiday present kind of thing for yourself. And before somebody, before somebody comes into my chat and goes, I would have to run it by my wife or my partner, my lover. No. You go out and you work. If you're the house husband, yeah, you're the bitch. Enjoy it, all right? You get to stay at home and do the, that kind of work. You be the bitch. If you go out and you're working, male, female, donkey, whatever you want to be, you're earning yourself money. You don't need to go to your partner and go, I'm going to buy myself some pedals. And for them to go, no, you're fucking not. No, you're fucking not. Who the fuck do you think you fucking are? You go, shut the fuck up. All the bills are paid for. I've done all my jobs as I need to do. I'm buying something for myself. And if she, he, donkey squeaks, tell them to shut the fuck up. Just that's it. Just do that to their face. And if they get all bright red and see it's my money, everything else is fine. The joint account is completely fine. If I want to get some fucking pedals, I'm going to get some fucking pedals. I go and work stupid amount of hours every week. I provide, you provide. I don't tell you to go and buy different fucking makeup, do I? You know? That kind of attitude, you know? Because that's what I get in the chat quite a lot of time. Oh, I would have to run it by my other half. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. It's your money. If your bills, your joint account, your marriage, whatever you're buying for in that situation, if you've got a little bit of fucking extra dollars that's sitting around, your bank account for savings is all good, that's your fucking money. You just tell them to sit the fuck down, you know? Sit them the fuck down. If I want some silky hydraulic pedals, MFG version free, out of my mind, you do so, you know? I feel this is a sore topic. <laughs> I'm just making sure before I read it, because it royally fucks me off that people get into these situations where if they're doing everything that they need to do and they're like, oh, I would have to book it in with my other half, it's like, <sighs> no, you don't. I'll, I'll kick down your fucking door. And I'll tell them what's what, you know? So how did you decide to put you on the pedals versus strafe up and down? Um, again, I like to fly traditional. Traditional, um... No, I've never been married, if that's what you guys are, are saying, Starfleet. But I've got no intention of uh, marriage. I'm a big and this is why i'm 15 years uh single player is because i'm a big believer that if you're putting the effort in and all these things you should reward yourself on the things that you like in life you know what i mean now i'm not telling you to go out and put a batman fucking outfit on and go vigilante but if you're looking for some silky silk pedals mfg's version free dampener for like 300 euros delivery you know what there you go Imagine, like, needing to talk over your wife and dark stuff through the door. No, you fucking don't. Dude, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll bust through fucking people's doors and be like, Look! Does he provide for you? Does she provide for you? Does the donkey provide for you? Yes. You know? Are you going on a nice summer holiday together? Yes. Is it all paid for? Yes. Did you buy yourself a nice dress with your fucking money? Yes. Did you buy yourself a nice suit with your money? Yes. So why can't you all have treat themselves? Why does it always have to be the bitch, the one that doesn't wear the trousers, has to fucking lose out on? No. No. Stand for your right. 
to have the peripherals you deserve for Star Season today. Do not let your other half get away with it. Turn the bitch around. And I'm talking about you being the bitch, turn yourself around. And stand up and get what you deserve. <laughs> it's okay. I have to ask my wife if it's okay. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody's actually done that. It's like, I, I have to be quiet, Dark Law. The wife is sleeping. It's like, why are you watching me whilst your wife is sleeping? Can't you go into another room? No, I have to stay beside her. She's sleeping. I'm so scared. If I watch her in another room and I get excited, she might come and get me. It kind of felt like that shit, you know? I have to be quiet, Dark Law. My wife is sleeping. <laughs> if she wakes, I'm fucked. She'll fucking kill me. <laughs> Divorce is up 10% for TLC. Hey, at least then you get to enjoy yourself. If your other half doesn't understand, they need to be put in their place. Simple as that. If they don't go, fuck yeah, you deserve it, you know? That's how it should be within a relationship. You should be pushing each other. She goes, well, I'm getting a Ferrari. And you go, you fucking what? <laughs> Hey, if you can afford a Ferrari, then fuck it, yeah, you know. It's not like you're blowing up in a pub, coke, and, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If only Adam had never listened to Eve. Yeah, I'm a strong believer of where you should treat yourself. You don't need to go crazy, you know? You don't need to spend every day, every week, every month, but, you know, if you put the time in and you save up and get yourself some nice pedals or, you know, go out for a nice meal, you know, even if it's just by yourself, go out for a nice meal. I'm a big believer that people who are single should go out for a wine and dine themselves. Go out for a nice meal. Go into a restaurant, sit at the table, and be fucking proud that you can do shit by yourself and you don't need to have a ball and chain hanging around your ankle. Go to the cinema by yourself. Nobody else is going to judge. Nobody's going, oh, he's by his fucking self. You know, who cares? A lot of people will stay indoors, you know, single, and they'll be like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go to these things. If you get invited to, like, a couple's fucking party, bust in foot through the fucking door in their faces and remind them that you're a single player and you don't need to fucking hold hands to get through life are you decoupled when you slide um it depends on what i'm doing most of the time i'm in coupled because i need precision but if i'm doing tricks i'll quickly switch to decouple i can fly b uh, both styles and it's very important that you learn both ways of flying. I don't, I'm a strong believer people shouldn't be like, oh, I'm couple only, oh, I'm decouple only. No, learn both, master both. Good luck on the finance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crashing a couple's party, making all the dudes jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not all couples are in that situation, but, you know, I'm talking about where your other half is in full control of your life. I just don't believe that, you know. I think it should always be a 50-50 equal, you know. No, no one in the partnership is ever above the other person, if you know what I mean. It should be, I push you up, you push me up, kind of situation. I don't use Verpo or VKB. I can't recommend them. To be honest, reformed. And I'm a big Verpal fan. I can't recommend those pedals. I would only recommend MF, uh, the MFGs. Version 3. Dampener. It's cheaper. And I feel that they are the best pedals on the market. Because you don't need springs. I hope they fix the Pursuit of Hover mode for landing gear down when in decouple. Uh, that's only a temporary thing, Starflame, for uh, until they bring auto hovering back in. They are bringing auto hover back in, so I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing just now. I would actually have to land. 
You're soon going to have to actually go into helicopter mode and, and hold the hover. You know? They are bringing it back before anyone like goes, Oh, I don't want it back. It's coming back. Tough shit. But uh, yeah, they are getting rid of the landing gear down and you don't fall out of the sky stuff. That's only a temporary measure just now. Yeah, if, if you only had a choice of Verpal or VKB, it would always be Verpal. That's just me, you know. But I have heard that the pedals in VKB are really good. I did enjoy hover mode, especially for the bigger ships. It was quite nice to actually have to really think about landing, you know. Yeah, they are. It just depends on how much the, the dude is willing to meet him. Yeah. Crosswind version 3? Yeah, I've linked it a couple of times. Oh. That ping, or did I hit something? Oh, I moved. Never mind. No, no, I'm freaking out. It was just the moving of that. There you go. And I used the uh, Universal Combat ones. Verbal server, customer service can suck my ass. Verbal customer server service is amazing. It just depends on when you catch it. PKB service is just as bad. Any customer service can be bad. It really depends on the day and who you're catching, you know. Do we use this for you? Well, again, I've had issues where I gave up on VKB because they never would answer my emails. You know? months of trying to get stuff fixed gave up so I just like I fixed it myself and um, gave them to Galavir and to my knowledge I still think if Galavir is still there the uh, the uh, bases are working fine I don't think he's had to uh, ask for them to be fixed or anything like that Fantastic, there you go. So I got bored of fi uh, waiting for customer service to try and repair things for me, so I basically just got somebody who's like a, a handy man who's very good at uh, soldering and stuff to just re-solder everything up and uh, just give it a complete like work down um, and it started to work perfectly after that, like the sensors and shit. Because they, they literally spent months where they wouldn't reply. Or is there a pump broken out of the box? Uh, I know, it, it sucks. Oh. That's what is fucking going on. I was wondering, like, in my last flight, it felt like my joystick was vibrating. And it's just basically, if you see here, it's very slight, but the Allen key that stops the the grip from going up or down is just slightly out of place. I need to Allen key this up. This is where I get fucking killed. Ugh. Oh shit. When your fucking shake weight, the shake weight is flying across the table and it's gonna fucking crash into the ground. <laughs> that would have made a big bang. Ugh. Did I not lock my pedals? One, I think I only locked one. Right, I'll adjust myself here, right. He's a titan, that's all. Beautiful. Faulty. There we go. Wibbly wobbly sorted. I should just keep this on my desk, to be honest. Put it over here, by the way. 
just in case. All right. Let me look. Depends on who you're with, you know. A lot of people will be Verpal fanboys, some people will be VKB fanboys. It's whatever you prefer, you know. If you like VKB, go with VKB pedals. If you like Verpal, go with Verpal pedals. I mean, shit. It's RNG anyway, what you're gonna get. Mmm. Um, thank you for all the follows coming in, guys. I appreciate that. Am I close enough? Yeah, I'm close enough. God damn it. I'm so out of position there. No, that's not what I want. What do I want? What do I want? <sighs> Put this on. Um, we'll do this into I'll just have this one then. Fuck it. Universal damper. Let's hope I can get my head around this. It'll take you a wee while, dude. I would highly suggest you just lock down one of your twists and keep whatever you use for strafing up and down on the same thing. That would be my recommendation. roll on your twist or you yawn your twist do that on your pedals and if you up strafe with twist just leave it on your left or whatever again you'll figure it out brains work in different ways you know
wish they would hurry up with like the full blown canyon system. See that? The fucking TVI, even though I'm not moving, is bouncing around because I move my head. What the fuck is that? Why is it doing that? It's so weird. Why should he? Why does it even move? What the hell is it? It was like fucking happy hardcore. Do I need to get the glow sticks out and the fucking whistle? Let's get those shash and tabs in, boys! Help the skelter! Chipmunks, like, jeez. Before it's somebody's real voice, like. They like I like it. God, at least light me in the area. Too much. It's a lot of commercials. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I don't. I. I still haven't researched into the new like Twitch advert setup or what. What's the best sayings to have? So, just think of it this way. You're. You're. You're giving me money if you watch all the ads. And I massively appreciate for anyone that gives me money right now. <laughs> so, I do apologize if there's too many ads, like... But for $4.99 in your prime, you could have it ad-free. Having money is good, so do I, like, so do I. I'm definitely at that stage where money is good. <laughs> Poor Dark Law is not. <laughs> How did our couriers do? Uh, I don't really want to reply that, to be honest. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. Oh! I spy with my little eye. Something to do with a mission. Oh, Hariri! Who 
who's over here? This isn't for me. I'm missing a few ships, so... I think the... Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus, get off me. Captain, someone has gifted a class two access pass. Uniform, thank you very much, dude. And lethal, thank you very much for the prime as well. Because I think there's a blur. And clever. Right, Bravo. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, dude. I appreciate all the love guys coming in. Make sure you use your points to get into the giveaway. Captain, someone has gifted a class two access pass. Crazy stuff. Well timed, guys. I appreciate that. I think. I'm pretty sure I saw a blue dot appear, but it might have been that corpse thing. Let's see. Is that doing? <laughs> the fuck is that Vanguard doing? It's like power sliding across the desert. What the fuck, man? God damn it, Maverick! Talk to me, guys. Talk to me. Talk to me. This NPC's fine. Fuck! Oh shit, that was actually pretty close. I shouldn't meme by heading into the missile. Ah, open wide. We're going in. All right, this is Delta. Let's fucking vaporize that thing. Oh shit! Fuck! There's a fucking cutlass. They try to. Woo! We're in a fucking tornado spiral of ships. This is how it's meant to be. Cutlass. Who the hell's that? Oh, it's the Vanguard that was power sliding. That's who it is. Ah! Jesus Christ. Topper Harley? Watch out, dude. You're getting really low, like. Look at this unathletic fly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're just fucking stalling out. Eh? Go for the Vanguard. Cutlass seems to be quite aggressive, like. Where's the blue? You can't shoot me, sorry. <laughs> no. Finally! You've appeared! It's a 600i! 
Oh my god! Out of nowhere! <laughs> You're a bit late! <laughs> You're a bit late, I'm sorry! You took like a fucking hour to arrive! Your, your NPCs are not going to spawn! Just to let you know. I hope you understand. <laughs> yes, yes. Look at, look at the, the dudes just standing there like, Where's my NPCs? They were on radar a split second. I complete the mission. The ultimate form of ganking. Take away your income. <laughs> mission failed. Return to base. <laughs> oh man. I, to be honest, I would have left it if the dude was actually there. <laughs> but I, I just assumed that it was just random NPCs because nobody was around. <laughs> Why is this dirty arrow zipping around? <laughs> This game is so good at times. When you get that shit, man, I got so psyched from that. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get you big fucking money today, boys. Where's my NPCs? Why is it mission failed? <laughs> and why is there an arrow low flying around? <laughs> Imagine fucking tied up in a 600 eye of all things to do bounty hunting. Oh, man. I do miss the shit in this game sometimes. It is good stuff. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Thank you again, guys, for all the subs, gifted subs. I appreciate that. X Matrix, good afternoon, T Chief. Oh. Imagine if I'd been flying in my 600 eye as well. <laughs> Why is there a 600 eye doing my mission? That would have been so bizarre, like. Uh, right. Where did I warp to? I guess I've been so distracted. I think I could probably go and get some fuel, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Eagle Flats. We should have... Should be... Should be... 113. Let's go. We got enough fuel, I think, for 113. I think we do. In the atmosphere, I know, I know, I know. Imagine if I had been in a ship that could probably kill it, you know? This is why the missions don't spawn, I see. It's not me, I swear. That was just so random. Because I've never come to this area in a, in a long time. You never really go to Eager Flats these days because there's all the better places that you can fly around in beforehand, you know? Oh, oh God. That was, that was good stuff. That definitely made the day. Uh, we're going we're gonna to fucking pelt back to this, though. And then we're going to put our 12 version... Blame the boys on boys. Sixty-seven KM and heading in. damage that's fine we are pushing our limits actually at this speed oh. bingo inbound 40 kilometers out
Let's refuel. Must not be silly. Oh, 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 ballista! Shit! Shit! There's a fucking ballista! Where, where is it? It's moving out! It's moving out! There is! Ballista! <laughs> Fuck it, this is dying. Oh god. Can we please? Oh, we're in the armor zone, that's why. No, 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 it's gotta die, it's gotta die. It's gotta die, it's gotta die. Fuck that. These things have ridiculous fucking things, like... There he is. Is there. He's on the ground. Okay. Fucking HP is ridiculous in these things. Shit, chat. Fuck it. No way. No way, McConaughey. No way. Oh, what's that? Uh, oh, it's a Valk. Yeah, it's a Valk. Wonder if it was the 600i. <laughs> I'm getting fucking blistered this twat. <laughs> Fuel. What oh, we got on our load? We got nine. We're good. I'm still 42 out of my mind. I'm moving. Here. Boys. Oh, that is 
that is not. For a bit. Hey, Robert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, yeah. We are. Boys. How you doing, Chief? Yeah, Ballista is ridiculous HP. Like, ridiculous. The dude actually got out. And started missling with me with uh, an Atomus instead of actually just getting into the fucking weapon seat and one banging me, you know? He decided to get out of the ship in, or out of the thing as well. Obviously, doesn't realize how tanky that thing is. to see if something happens, but I don't think so. Oh, oh, here we go. We do, we do, we got a Hornet. Super Hornet on the field. Invert roll over. I'm keeping low for that blister, like... That's going to be, if they roll out another one, it's going to be naughty, 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 naughty.
see anything else, like... I think the Valkyrie despawned. Or it's... Gone. I'm waiting to see what else. It was just this. I think it's the guy who came in. Uh, Hornet again. It's more the bliss than the shit. That ain't gonna. That ain't gonna be fun. Like. It's just grab balls of fire. Joystick is loose. This would not be the best of times to have to deal with that. Let's quickly go in. Look at that. Yeah, one minute, one minute, one minute. Remember to get the pliers out and tighten this. <sighs> For tomorrow, like, it's twice it's come undone today. Blister, blister, don't be a blister. Let me just get in. The annoying part is a blister in this patch can literally be set right in front of me and I wouldn't fucking know. <laughs> because it can go invisible. Yeah, I should get a pair of pliers and just tighten this off as much as I can. So it doesn't scare. 80s are the summer of pleasure. They are, yeah, yeah. Who needs wings? That, you gotta admit, that was a pretty good recovery, right? That was a pretty good recovery. 80s suck for movies? What What would you say would be a, a good song to, what the fuck is this? Play then Raven Queen, if not 80s. You want something 90s? <laughs> give me, give me, give me a, a song. I'll see if I can jam to it. Disco, disco. Billy Jean. Fuck, I don't know if I could do that, to be honest. Castles in the sky. We can do that one. Are you wanting the, uh... Casca version or the uh, Ian Van Dahl version? Which one do you, do you want? Hey, Pop Freedom. Ooh. The OG or Casca? Casca? Is that how you say it? Version? In the air tonight, fuck off. <laughs> you want me to build? Ah, I fucking knew it, chat! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! And it's looking right at me. And it's looking right at me. Didn't I tell you, you can't see this shit. 
It's got its turret right positioned. It's gonna fire on me this time. No, if I it, it can fire point blank range, Chris. I can't go against it with the turret now on it. I can't go on it. Because generally it can lock a missile at zero kilometers and I, I won't be able to dodge it if it fires. I am actually going to have to fucking back out and go that way, you know? Just so it does not, does not matter, it will clap me. I guarantee you, because it can fire at zero meters range right now, I will not be able to dodge it if it launches. It'll desync straight into me. And it is active. It is very active. It's very active because the little bugger's moving the turret. And it's fucking looking at me. Look at it. <laughs> it's fucking looking at me, Chad. I don't even think I could meme and go behind here. Like, this is how pathetic some fucking players are. They're like, oh shit, I, only, I can't kill him in a fucking fighter. I'll sit myself in a fucking blister. You know? Fire one missile to win. Get out of your ship, walk up to the blister and self-destruct. Oh, that would be so hilarious, like. Does it have the door open? Let's have a look. Is the turret not armed? The turret's not armed anymore. Oh, he's in the guns. I wish I could fucking fire missiles at this thing, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got another memer coming in, I think. Maybe. Oh, he's... He's firing. He's firing the bullets. <laughs> oh, dearie me, dearie me, desperation, desperation. You're know, fucking stupid is how I can't target, you know. So stupid. How the this thing is so stealthy to that distance. Like literally 10 EM and it's 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 bugged because the, the thermal is bouncing. Look at it. It's so bugged. See here? Look at it. Look at that nonsense like. It's so fucking cheesy right now when people use ballistas. Well, this fucking scrubby. Scrubby couldn't come in his fucking, uh, what's it? Is it the super? Yeah, the super. So it's in his little blister, you know? Dumb fire? Um, I've got a good chance I'll kill myself, Bumblebee. I'm not gonna risk that. And he's probably got uh, call to arms, so I'll just go instantly to prison for what? Legit strategy? Not really, no. Cause I'll just fly that way and it's a waste of time, you know what I mean? Like, we literally just do this. You know? Just do this. And then that's it. You know? We can sit there with the blister all at once. I'll just go to Yella to refuel, rearm, or scare to it low. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really a legit tactic if it doesn't work. Just, just saying that, Chris. You know, it'd be a legit tactic if it killed me. Yeah, sure. But when I'm like 50 kilometers away, what's it going to fucking do? And I've got full fuel. The dude's gonna have to get in his little uh, super Hornet. You know. <laughs> Find the arrow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always fly the arrow. It's my favorite ship. Right now, anyway. Could all change. Anyway, Raven Queen. Which one do you want? Will we put the, we'll put the original on then. Put the original on for you. There you go. Alright. There you go. Uh, verbal alphas in Z action. 
Next time mark kit, we'll uh, explain that. We will have to head this way and play here. Since we have a blister fucking parked. So you pop in just quickly. Glenn some my double. How you doing, Chief? Welcome in. Oh, we're dead. Maybe. Oh, that was a very close. Just managed to raise the fucking fuselage. I may have ripped off a gun though. Just managed to fucking bail out of that. That was a lot of stall there, sadly. Closer for the Toby. Plenty speed. Yeah, we got plenty. Not enough for that, though. <laughs> Not enough for that one. <laughs> it's like sick. Ah, right, we're moving around. Saved. Ah, that's a good tune. I've not heard that one in ages. I'm gonna move closer. After resetting my chair, I'm a little bit too far away from the pedals. Bring it in. Oh yeah, that. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. I can already feel it. Like, I should put like a marker or something. Oh well. At least we can go back in with a brand new ship. You have to pay for the destroyed ship now? Um, I can use insurance to get it back, but I have two. I have two of the same ship for such an occasion, so... Captain, someone has gifted a Class 2 access pass. Hey, thank you, Reformed. I appreciate it. Double, thank you very much for the 14 months. Let me catch up. Doing well, bad. Captain, Had some time to someone figure. Someone gifted a class two access nice, pass. Nice, thank you, dude. Yay. Thank you as well, Reformed. Appreciate that for the two months. Very, very generous. Thank you so much. It's funny how Raven Queen gifted, but wasn't also sub to the channel. <laughs> I love when people do that shit, you know? They drop like a five bomb. <laughs> But they're not actually soft themselves, you know? <laughs> Thank you very much for the support, I appreciate that. Make sure, guys, if you do get uh, gifted a sub or you're subbing yourselves... Captain, um, multiple Class 2 status updates in progress. 
Thank you, I appreciate it. Guys, so it. Um, get involved in the giveaway. Exclamation mark April. CIG for the whole of April. I, well, they gave me a while back. Uh, gave uh, giveaways. We got Cutlass Steel this week. And we have the Saber next week. Then the Nomad and the Quad the following week. And then a 400i. All with LTI. All with all the packages you would ever want. And then obviously on the final day, we're going to give away somebody a 20% discount code out of my own pocket to, uh, for somebody. And I think it goes up to like $100 off on certain things. Like if you get an arrow, you're not going to get $100 off, for example. But if it's like a $200 ship, I, th I th think it does that. I don't know. It's been a while since. Holy mackerel, somebody's out there. But yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Let me quickly catch up with chat whilst we're having this little downtime period. Bugs in this game. Who would know? I know. Again, I think I think the blister is actually sorted in 317. I remember saying something. Because it's not meant to be where you can't see it from 500 meters. Like, it does... You know, the moment it's active, it should be where it can be seen from maybe a thousand meters or something like that. But the fact that it's like, sometimes it goes to zero is, is crazy. And that thing can literally snipe you out there. Oh, oh, we definitely have McConaughey here. Somebody tag at me. No whining and dining before getting fucked. That's, I see how it is. Watch as it's the, the 600i, right? The 600i. Let's see, who is it? Can't even fucking target it for some reason. Oh, it's colors black. Oh, that's nice. Actually, kind of feel like I'm maybe a little too close now to the disc. Oh, God. How many times are you going to target me? I'm opening up my doors. Nah, they're just going in. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh shit, there's a Gladius sitting outside, ready to ram. That's nice. I love how I can't uh, target. Thank you. It's an invisible. It's an invisible ship. That's great. Ugh. So we have a Gladius that knows of it. The question is, now that's moving. Ah, here we go. There is a Gladius I can't target though. It's literally, lo it's got the radar bug. It's like pinging and stuff like that, so. Uh, I hate this thing so much. Not the, not the, the person chasing the Gladius. The, uh, I can't target. Let's do a little fucking... Sh I need to change my chair anyway. Let's see. I, I can't even see a trail. Oh, sorry, I need to do this just so I can watch the screen at the same time. Yeah. So I think it's got the... It's either, ah, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. It's flying here, look there. That's the Gladius there. And I can't, uh, I can't see it target-wise, which is annoying. Yeah, tough, that would be kind of cool. Just, um... Send me an invite. I think it's only one person, and I, I don't mind, like, fighting, it's just obviously I can't see or target, so we're gonna do a bit of warping around. We'll do some warping around and see if that fixes it, because obviously, yeah, a Gladius I can't target is going to be very, very dangerous. And I won't ever know it's behind me unless I catch a trail. Scooter is hunting a cricket? Nice. Oh, you got jumpers. Jumpers uh, literally live outside. They're very small, you know. 
You're drinking coffee whilst watching? Right. I'm gonna go to... I bet I'm gonna get targeted any second here. I'll need to... I think it's you have to bounce like three times to make this work. We'll try. If we go in the atmosphere, a gladius can't keep up. But I will still lose if I can't actually fucking see it, you know, or target it. That could be an issue. Oh my god, and there's a bogey already? Oh, what would be the chances of an NPC miss? <laughs> For fuck's sake! How do I manage to just randomly go to a location? And somebody's running a mission here. How do I do this? How do I come across all this shit? I've got an invisible... <laughs> invisible... <laughs> fucking Gladys. <laughs> and I've got somebody in the area about to do a mission. A bounty hunter mission as well. Looks sake. Right, I'm staying fast again because I'm just looking out for some trails. I've got a feeling like the Gladius, I don't know if it was red. They're the NPCs. Why we're in the dark is I'll be able to get a trail if something is actually cruising. The good thing is that it has no chance of catching the arrow if I keep up my vertical speed. I don't see anything. I kind of want to try something as well whilst we're cruising. Uh, not this. I want to try a little bit more input in the tracker. I'm getting too old. Let's try this. Yeah, that's so much easier on my head. Don't have the, the muscles these days. Oh god, that was actually a bad pull. Going that fast. Nothing's targeting me, so that would suggest the Gladius is not here. It was red. It was flashing at one point red, and I couldn't see the name. There is gunfire going down there. Gunfire down on that ship. On the hurricane. I need to slow down because of... Oh, now I'm getting targeted. There is definitely gunfire on low. Which would suggest that I'm actually roasty toasty fuck. Why the fuck are we bugging out here? Yeah, I can't target anyone on site either. I'm gonna go in low. Do we have the bug? Oh, now we do. Oof. Now we're gonna have it. Oh god. How about that one? Alright, well, at least we got it. Right, so somebody just popped. The fuck? I don't understand how you can pull corners like I do and you don't. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. There's the cutlass black. But there's another one because one of their targets is already taken out. There's gunfire literally down here. Is that, uh, oh, it's the security post. That's what's taking them out, maybe then. Or doing the gunfire. Oh, he's definitely firing at me. That's got a gunner then. Or launching missiles. So we've. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear shit because of this fucking bug. Alright. Let's see if we've got gunner. More missiles. More missiles. Can't break out of it. We'll keep hot and spicy. More missiles. I'm gonna bring it down to over there. 
Since it's definitely after me, it seems. It definitely wants the booty. I'm gonna narrow it down to two on the old decoys because they're not popping the EMs yet, so should be fine. I'm gonna have to restart the game because of this bug. Alright, thank you. Kill yourself and I think it works. Is it where you kill yourself and you get rid of the bug? Oh, this is definitely chasing. Oh no, it's actually veered off now. And we're just dragging a little bit into the old night time. It's going higher to get faster. Alright, you know what? We're going silent because Maybe he's leaving. Mm. He warped out. How'd you get rid of the um, eardrop bug? Respawning fixes it, right. Okay. No, he's still up there. Definitely still up there. Spread love like a Paddington bear. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this song? There we go. Uh, uh, uh. All right, there's a 600 eye. That's the mission runner. The 600 eye is the mission runner. Remember, we defeated his mission beforehand. We're not gonna do it this time. He's actually turned up to do his mission. And Cutlass is uh, nowhere to see. Missiles going out for the target. There we go. 600 eye spamming. In 317, we can actually turn on missiles. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. Who is that? Who is that? We have an inbound bogey, which I think has radar issues. Because I can't pick it up, we're going to go hype this way. I think this might be the Gladius that I can't detect. Yeah, I can't see it. I can't see a trail. Unless it warped out, you know? I would have thought I would have come across it since that's where the icon was. I can't tell if I'm tone locked by that dude anymore. 600 I could pelt quite a few missiles. I really do need to be able to actually hear the game though, that would be nice. 600 eyes not on course to engage me, but we do have a, a second entity. There it is, oh no, that's the pip. Where is the second one? I think what we'll do is we'll warp and uh, destroy the ship. I need to respawn myself, if that's the case. Yeah, I don't see the, uh, like, again, we've got no trails. Yeah, let's go back to Yelly Yelly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did you really fire a fucking missile at me, 600i? Jeez. Lucky I can't, uh, I'm more worried about the other ship that might be on my ass. I'm looking for it. Yeah, we'll need to do, uh, kill ourselves because this is our status right now. Underwater, can't hear. <laughs> it's so bad. Can I 
Please cancel warp. Oh my god. Holy shit. Can I have a lag? Right. Uh, self destruct. Unfortunately, I don't like doing this, but. This is the one off where I'll kill myself. It's when I can't hear shit. I really, really hope that's fixed in 3.17. Uh, let's uh, have a read through here, Spider. Uh, oh, was it you, Jarex, in the the Gladius? All oh, right, sorry, did. Yeah, I wasn't reading that because again, when you when you can't target somebody. Like, it gets you into that paranoid state of, like, is somebody around you at those times? And then, obviously, fucking blackout bug where I can't hear anything in the game. And uh, Notorious, uh... You get CIG to fix a PTU patch. Uh, where I can actually spawn it and I will give it a shot. But PTU patch is so janky, it's just not working at all. I like I can't get on the server, I can't spawn it. What I'll probably do uh, tough is I'm probably gonna bounce to a, a different server. So we've been on this one for like what? Four. How many hours? Have I been on the same server? I've not swapped server, have I? Oh no, I did swap server when I lost internet connection. So that's like three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's swap to something else. Let me do the reclaim. If you want to fly together, uh, tough, I'm totally down. This song always makes me want to watch... Um, uh, Beverly Hills Cop for some reason. It's got that. Even though I thought, I don't think that is the actual Beverly Hills kind of like background. Hey, Subsbergo. How are you doing today, Chief? Thank you very much for that, sir. But yeah, we got jumping spiders in um, the back garden. They're very, very small. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't put them in a, a tank or anything like that. Like to Axel F, yeah. That will definitely be one bug I'll try and replicate in 317 is to see if there's, um, the, the echoing and stuff. I hope CIG will fix that because again, this is... I don't want to harp on it, CIG or the developers and stuff like that, but after like four or five months of no patch, I expect major bugs that weren't fixed in 3.16 weren't fixed in 3.16.1 and they were a bug list on PTU, which is the blackout bug uh, sound file that needs to be fixed. And I'm going to give a little bit of advice to CIG. If you can't fix it, take the sound file of water out the game just delete the file or however it's programmed if it's set to like watered down tone dash one make it dash zero or however you do it if you can't figure out how to fix it disable it for this patch please because it's so bad that i have to kill myself or swap server and stuff no it's not it's it's a bug it's a bug. It's meant to give you that watery effect because you're going into blackout, but it doesn't release. It doesn't stop. No, that would be... No joke, I think a lot of people would quit the game if you had to deal with that shit. I definitely wouldn't be happy if I... Because there's a lot of pilots that will black out and then recover. Ah, nice, nice, nice in real life but they don't like 
lose their hearing from it, you know? It'll recover back over time and it just doesn't. It literally permanently stays until you kill yourself. And I generally don't think you should have to kill yourself in a game to get your hearing back. It just seems so strange, you know? You don't burst your eardrums from a blackout? Yeah, technically, because it's just water in the ears from these things, you know? Like, G's and certain things, if I remember correctly, it's vibrations of water in your ears that cause, obviously, your the spinning and the hearing to go. And then, obviously, the blood rising in the eyeballs. But it's definitely a bug. It's really, really bad as well. It's very frustrating. It ruins fights. Like, I don't mind blacking out. I really like blacking out. I think it should black out from more things. But, um, yeah, losing here, and it'll be like the same thing as, oh, if you black out too much, your eyeballs are going to pop. Or you'll never be able to get your vision back. It's like, oh, fuck's sake. I might as well sign up to the real military if we're going to have effects like that in a game, you know? Video games are meant to, like, you can take video games seriously. I understand people do it. I do it. But games are meant to be fun. If you're getting into a game and you're severely injuring yourself from it... Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not even looking to see who's in local. I don't even know. I might be even on back on the same server. But we'll find out. Oh no, fuck's sake. Right. I kind of like not look at that part, man. Just go like that. Come on, fucking. Away. You're clear to launch. Again, this is why 317 is going to be so juicy. Hide. Hide chat. Never look at local. Using the ATC button to undock and you don't know who the fuck is on your server. It's going to be really good fun. Obviously a bit of a, a problem if you're coming back on the same server. But I think you'll probably realize that one. But I like the... Ooh. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a pick a mix, you know? Exactly. I don't understand why they're doing those mechanics. Killjoy. I really. Oh my god, I'm gonna black out again. I'm gonna black out again. Stupid ass shit. Like, again, any other time, I would be fine. I'm happy to black out. Not in 316. I just don't want to. Do I heal that bug? So yeah, radar bug, blackout bug, blister, see what range you can actually see it at. I don't care about bikes and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I think that's sort of all on my list to, to check out. I can't really think of anything else that I need to bring over from 316. Blackout bug, radar bug, check blister. I think that, I think that's just generally the, the biggest peeves I got. Radar bug, blackout bug. Bottom drive. And check the distance of a blister, how far it can hide itself. Oh, well, does the detox pen fix it? Really? Now, obviously, I'm totally down for a mechanic. If I can jab myself in the seat, you know what I mean? It's like, aha, my hearing! <laughs> Do 
Get myself all propped up. I'm fine for that, but you can't do shit. You can't even grab a bottle of water whilst you're in the pilot seat. You're just like, oh, <laughs> dehydrated to shit. And you got maybe a bottle of water in your pants, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Thank you for all the follows, guys. Ooh. And guys, get involved in that giveaway. Super, super easy. Codes at the start of the day. Codes at the end Resubscription of the day. Resubscription received. Thank you for renewing your class two access. Five months. You asked me to share, so I share. Mm. I love it when people share. Captain, multiple class two status updates in progress. Stop it. Raven Queen, no, 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 <laughs> no more gifted subs. I appreciate it, but thank you. You've been very generous already today. Super, super generous. No more. No, no, bad. Um, anyone got a song request? Because obviously I'll just keep playing my drivel. Um, and I quite like that. Um, the uh, castles in the sky, old school. I personally prefer the Casca version. I'm I'm quite fond of Casca. That was my jam. Sorry, playing Valheim. That, that's not an excuse for dropping a five bomb sub. Sorry. What, what a give. So you're playing Valheim? You want to give the channel subs? That makes no sense to me. No sense. I appreciate it, but no sense. Shall we look at the 90s selection? 90s selection. No, not 980 selection. I need to get cryoed for that. Oh, 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 I have a song. I have a song. We're gonna have, we're gonna have good vibes for this one. I'll leave the joysticks up though. Or do you want the joysticks away? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just leave it. Oh yeah. Hey Vez, how you doing, Chief? to favorite location. 120 out. Resubscription received. Thank you for oh God, no. your class two access. No, who did that? Killjoy, thank you very much, dude. I'll read that in a second.
I think I'm going in the right direction. Let's go a little bit up, actually. Grab me. Hmm. No, I'm not going in the right way. I think I'm off course. Hundred percent sure, to be honest. Where is the mountains that is meant to be in this area? Did they get taken out? <laughs> Hello. Oh, is that them? Oh. That's good. Is it just so hazy I can't see it? Ah, wait. this way. Maybe it's this way. Chat, where the fuck are the mountains that are meant to be here? Where have they gone? Oh. Oh. It has been too hazy, that's why. There we are. Mm, num, 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 num. Finally. All right. Now we can lock that in and get a song. Did it? Oh, that's bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank you, dude. Stupid fucking bug. Just take proximity out. Thank you very much for the eight months, dude. I appreciate that. Ooh. All right, let's queue up some songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are good. These are good. These are good. Thank you for that tough. That I uh, appreciate that. I appreciate that. I feel like this is a problem.
chair slipping away, chat. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I think I only put one lock in, that's why. Ah! There we go, there we go, there we go. That's better. More control! The wing. Ooh, interesting. No, no, just at the wrong time. Fuck it. We one wing deck it. One wing deck. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Another wing. <laughs> How far are we? Oh, I think we're too far. Oh shit, shit, shit! Matey, 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 matey! Houston, we have a problem! <laughs> oh, that's that way? Oh god, how far? A7, fuck it. The beams. For the memes! Excuse me, can I fly straight, please? Please! 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 <laughs> God, that's over. Oh God, no, 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 no! I forgot I could put this one in. I can't get no sleep. Actually, this is actually I don't need to go too hardcore with this one. Fifty out, fifty out. Let's just cruise it. We'll cruise it. This is easier. God damn it, Chopper Harley! Where did my fucking wing go?
What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> where are you going, Chip? <laughs> My TBI says different. Chat, Greg puts up. Let's get the vibes in chat, please, ladies and gentlemen. Someone has gifted a class 2 access pass. Watch in. Watch in. <laughs> the night to run. Dude, that's a fucking awesome movie. Like. <laughs>
Train coming. Sentinel. Matey, 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 matey. Clippity club, clippity club. Regage, regage, Maverick. Regage. <laughs> Alright, we need to find somewhere. Oh, jeez. Oh, That's curious. I was in Well, TDL being back on Twitch, does it mean we expect drunk law? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Reformed, as well, for the gift of the sub to uh, Fresh. No idea if we will see Drunk Claw again. Who knows? Mm. Shower down. The Sentinel roaming around is a worry. Actually, I think. It is cruising possibly behind us. We wouldn't be able to keep up, so let's chow and just ride. Silent mode on. What makes me want to do the Mac loop? Dude. <laughs> what what game are you doing the Mac loop in? I guess it would be what Windows uh flight. And which Mac loop? Are you talking about the one in uh, Wales?
Well, we got mountains coming up. I should really stop here. Mmm. Well, I definitely know asteroids don't go fucking up in the sky like that. We're getting tailgated, chat. Fuck's sake, I'm trying to eat dinner. It's a sentinel. Mmm, 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 mmm. I want to go in these mountain areas as well. Oh, right, all right, right. Oh, I see, I see. All right. This thing is actually cruising pretty fast, actually. There it goes. Fire missiles. Let's see what we're up against. Shit! Let's go ballistics! It's the full scumbag build. Missiles. Man, I just want to eat my dinner. Beep, 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 beep. Spend it like Beckham! Except for it hit myself with it. You fucking nudge me. <laughs> now we got knee wing. Oh god, Torps. This is gonna be interesting. Definitely not gonna be able to do this with one wing. The fucking missile blew off my wing, sadly. We'll head to Shubin. I will need to go deep space and, uh, or space and repair that. That's a shame. Unfortunately, when the missile launched, it exploded my fucking wing. Ugh. Probably very on the verge of death as well because of that. Shubin's close, though. We'll hit the, uh,. Quick repair on that. Yeah, I'm hoping desync sorts that because that's a shame. That is a shame. It exploded my my wing off. Hey, call it night, chief. That poor mountain. Repair and warp away again. 
We'll bring the fight again. Do this nice by the book. Fucking missiles, like. What pieces of shit. Super fast as well. Could do that. Quickly repair, because I think he's gonna ram. He's coming in way too fast. Oh, well, maybe not. I'll do a quick uh oh yeah, he's coming in. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright. Not oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Goddamn missiles. Typing in chat. Hold still so I can put you in prison. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> it's like because <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I bet you it's the case. They always say that shit. I wish I got the counters up, but whatever. Slow down. Reinforcements incoming. <laughs> Tough butter. I just want to eat my dinner. It's quite cold. <laughs> It's coming fast, like. That's it. Lure him in. Lure him in. Stop running. Stop running. <laughs> you're meant to die. I'm a bounty hunter and you're a criminal. Show. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. It's a fucking torp. There's Chef. Hmm. Got him 6k off me, Tef, rather. Ready when you <laughs> Send Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Tendril doesn't have tarp, so it's just the nonsense he ends in. Yeah, let's go. Did he just fire a missile? Push in. Oh, we got nine in the chamber left. Anytime now, Tuffy. This 
Distortion and fucking machine guns, like. I'll lure him around. You have fun with him. Because he's just fucking focused on me. Hyper focused. Hyper, hyper focused. Went under you. Alright, you switch target. Do I have the... No, I don't have the bucket. Shit. God, I need to go and eat. Where's the uh, shooby shooby? Alright, cruise that way. Dude had repeaters, distortion, and fucking ballistics. Like, it was a fucking cocktail. Normally how they, they talk. Shit, he's back. He's back. God damn it. Looks like I'm not going to finish my, my dinner. <laughs> EMP out, so watch out. Yes, yes. Just concentrate on me. That's lovely. Oh, secondary target? We've got a secondary sentinel! Two sentinels, Tough Mudder. Be a lot more evasive, dude. They're gonna chain EMP. They made it 2v2. I'm 
just gonna lure them around like a little buttercup. Might need to drag them somewhere, dude. I'm gonna see what the second one has equipped. Second one is uh, hyper focused on you just now. That's changed to me. Distortion. Fire DMP. Fire of range. I'll back you up whichever way we do it. Hmm. Secondary Vanguard is on you. Ballistic boy. I'm off you for now. We'll just play around a bit. Concentrate on the Zen Force guy, maybe. Yeah, Zen Force has a weaker build. Coming into support. This guy's gonna EMP and kill the friend. Yeah, he's gonna kill him. He EMP'd close range. I'm gonna recover my shields. Absorb it. Covered. I'm dead. Move on to Captain Cupcake. He's on me, hyper focused on me, so you're free. I'll just keep him into a verge. He's uh, charging. He's booking it, man. No, he's coming back in again. He popped the MP. My weapons are down for a second. Keeping him in the merge. Got him in a nice one circle right now. Oh, a little bit of damage there. We'll recover. Sentinel is shit in a one circle fight. You know what I mean? He's focused on you, changing target. He's gonna maybe run again. I got a bit of fucking shitty shit. Secondary target coming in, by the way. FYI, let's quickly finish this guy. Dead. Change on to the train. Oh, a third sentinel. Holy mother of gypsy fucking danger. Where are they buying all these sentinels from the sentinel fucking market? Hey guys, if you're watching the stream, just to tell you, you shouldn't fly sentinels. Not if you can't fly them, alright? Go and watch Avenger 1's video on YouTube. He will tell you how to do it. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that fucking EMP charge already. Jeez. Oh, look, you fired missiles. Wee -oo. 
a nice rate one. Oh, look, no gunner, of course. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, it's got cannons in the atmosphere. All right. That's that's beautiful. Cannon build. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drop some fucking noise. Charging EMP. Health, I think, warped out. His meal was probably fucking ready in the oven. Oh shit, did you just pop your fucking cherry? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> You think you're going, McCann, hey? Ah, he warped. Oh no, he didn't! He fucking teleported! Oh, did he? Who's that? Oh, it's fucking fresh as ice in an ion. It's a bit late now, Cupcake. Oh shit! Oh, there's a kachow! There's something else! Oh my god! There's an Andromedae! Oh no, Tufts on something! Tufts sees something I don't! I've got it, I've got it, I've got it! I see it, I see it, I see it! Oh shit, what the fuck is that? It's a redeemer! It's a fucking redeemer and I can't see it! Oh Jesus! What will I fucking do? I just wanna eat my dinner! Will you guys please fuck off? <laughs> Watch out, Drummy Day coming in! Fresh! Fresh! Kill the Andromeda! <laughs> There's a fucking hidden redeemer! <laughs> oh no! And it's got Kachows as well! Fresh! Fresh! Oh no! It's firing! I see it! Evasive maneuvers! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I can't see the hidden redeemer. I'm gonna move away a wee bit. Oh. Oh. Shoop the boop. I think the Redeemer's still going for me. It's over there somewhere. Kip him! Kip him! There it is, I think. I've got it! Free dick, this guy's. Top gun, top gun.
All right, so what's the body count now? I think it's going to warp. It's in panic mode. Jesus, my fucking dinner is cold as shit at this stage. Remember the flight school of Avenger 1. Evasive, evasive maneuvers fresh. Shrimp the rolls. Shrimp the rolls. <laughs> it's all you guys, I can't see it. It's disappeared from my visibility. Only the flying devil. <laughs> Stop fucking pigging! Beep beep! Beep beep! Ugh. Alright. I think I definitely need to get my dinner, alright? Good, good fight, guys. Good fight, good fight. Oh, sweet bloody Barry White, like... It's alright. Two Sentinels, a Connie. I'll take that. Jesus. Did somebody fire a missile at me? Maybe not a torpedo, though. You got a missile tough you can fire? That's good. Oh no, wait. Yeah, yeah. Fire it. Fire it, sorry. Fire. Fire. Good. Thank you. Jesus. God, that was so annoying. I'm starting my harbinger. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is going on here? Ghostbusters. So, somebody say, saying, it's Captain Strange. Neighborhood. Alright, awesome. Well done, guys. Let's return to base for cupcakes and cream. God damn it, I'm time for piss and my fucking dinner is all cold. <laughs> Love how there was just a redeemer casually shooting me, and I couldn't even see it. Uh oh, who's that? That's fresh, go. Uh, I report Redeemer dead. Nice, dude. Nice, nice. Mmm. My dinner is cold, so I'm gonna enjoy it cold, I guess. Mmm. Is the Sentinel on sale? I don't know, man. Three Sentinels, Colony, and a Redeemer. I kind of feel like if it wasn't for Tough, they were gonna send all that just for me. Which is kind of crazy, you know? Sorry if I missed any chat. We get fresh in the, the group, please. Might have to join comms as well, if it gets crazy. That's the thing I love about QQP. I can stream and they know exactly what I'm gonna do. That was a good bit of PvP. Thank you very much for the guys that came. Two Sentinel guys, the car name, the Redeemer. Well fought. Appreciate it. Oh, fuck. 
Jesus, I'm not even gonna get time to eat my cold dinner. A Taurus! Holy mother of fucking fuckery! This big mesquite Murph, how can I help you? And a freelancer there! That just appeared! It spawned in the server! Holy shit, what a bad time to spawn in the server. Holy testicle Tuesday, you lose a fight in a sentinel and you come in a Taurus. Are you literally throwing the fucking kitchen sink now? Look at Tough Mudder. I don't know where Fresh is. I think Fresh is AFK. He's having a bite to eat. Maybe regrouping. They they've got it. They've got it. I'm gonna watch the... Oh, the bay door and the, the door is closing! The door is going to support. The door is like, I must back up my friends. I logged in on the server purposely to sneak in. Oh god, I think there's gonna be multiples. Am I ever going to eat my fucking food? Oh no! He disappeared! Under the ground! A fucking magic trick! <laughs> Watch out, guys! It incoming dirt! It teleported through the ground! Ninjutsu activated! <laughs> Don't worry guys, you got this. You got this. I'll concentrate on the mole. He's trying to sneak in. He's using Thunderbird fucking technology. Oh, my dinner is so cold. Nom, 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 nom. Tastes good though. It's like Spanish potatoes. Like, like paprika and stuff like that. It's lovely. Pepper? Mmm. Is that the Taurus dead, by the way? Spanish potatoes. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Nothing beats a bit of potato and veg. Well, actually that's, that's the same thing, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. They've got a they've got a warp and uh, God damn it. Finally, I get to see you guys again. Oh. The mole is approaching. I wonder if I hover over a rock. Would the mole enjoy that? Oh, it's dead. So that's two Connies, two Sentinels, and a Redeemer. One would suggest maybe giving up at this stage. The casualties of, of interrupting my low line. <laughs> it's exactly <staggeringly> high <laughs> at this stage. We're into a few million at this stage. Mm. Oh. And what's for lunch today then? I didn't have any lunch. I can't afford lunch. I can afford one meal a day. That's what we're at just now. But I make sure, like, the the meal is, uh, stodgy, you know?
Great Mole. Please let it explode the moment it surfaces. Please. Please just let it do it. Come on. I, 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 I want to completely burst into laughter. That's very true, Fresh. Yeah, it does. But it also means I'm massively under calories, but... Again, that's probably quite good. Look at this fucking warp in point, like, holy shit. It's burrowing underground. I wonder if this bug is fixed. Holy shit. It's surfacing! It's coming out! <sighs> This is like the wrong place to fucking poke your turtle. Ooh, whoa! Beeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Oh god, is that a torp? Is that a torp? I feel that's a torp. And it missed. Oh, look at that rotational spiral! Well done. You successfully succeeded at failing to ram a stationary ship. Desperation has really succeeded at this point. <laughs> Our last strategy, ramming speed. <laughs> Buckle up, buckaroo. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This big mesquite Murph, how can I help you? Yeah! There we go. <sighs> good fights, good fights. I kind of feel like when you're going to the ramming stuff, you know. Yeah. It's more embarrassing that you're now at the stage where I have to kill you. I'm so pissed off. I'm going to literally forget about trying to be better at the game and just ramming, you know, to win. That's where it gets embarrassing, you know. Oh, is that fresh leaving or another one? I'm going to be bouncing server tough. Uh, you're welcome to stay on it if you want, but I need to go for a bio break. And since we've got rammers on the server, it's going to be where I'll get rammed somewhere enough. I'll just bounce. The moment that we get people ram, trying to ram, and that's all they've got, that's it. We'll take our massive amount of wins over you. I'm gonna jump out of, um... Oh, I can't do it, can I? Oh no, it is there, yeah. I'm gonna leave, so I, uh, bounce servers. Some people do open up with kamikaze. Wait till they get punished for it. They'll stop doing it. Or they'll probably quit, actually, at that stage. When they don't have the ramming ability. It's so cheap. It's like... You should have taken your losses and taken the good fights, but then you just degraded yourself, your organization, by trying to ram. You know? So sad. You didn't need to do that. Just take the losses on the chin, you know? Learn from it. What did you make a mistake in? You took a two-man ship versus... when you thought you were going to win with it. That's your mistake. Just a giant torp? Yeah. Victory. Right, I'm gonna be back in a second, guys. Bio break. I'll leave you with the music.
boys. Boys. Oof. Feels better. Oh, hello. Um. Stop this, this is bad. This is bad, like. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> it was like what we did a few hours on Friday, like 10, 11 yesterday, 8 today. I just don't feel drained at all, which is super strange. The good vibes are keeping me going. Oh, I don't need to do that. Shit. Ooh, me. Uh, how would you say SE PvP in the verse these days? I usually get pretty deep into games PvP communities, even in Minecraft. Um, it's buggy. However, Saturn. Next patch that we're getting this month which is in the test server right now, has a, a fix for positional desync. And it's it's not like a full-term fix. It's like a way of cheating it around to, to do certain things. And, um, yeah. It does, or apparently it makes things a lot better because of it. It means that Normally in combat, you'd be like, this is me, this is the target, we're facing each other, shooty, shooty, shooty. I know how to react, and if you get to this point where this is your target, this is you, and you're shooting, but you're taking damage because on the player's screen, they're like that, and you may be like that on theirs. You know what I mean? This gets fixed in 317, where it's, this person is definitely like that, but hit reg might be a little bit off. So as I've explained to people, I would rather know where my target is and not be able to kill them as fast um, and have that as a, a quick fix to PvP. And I think any of PvP in this game would agree that even for just like a band-aid kind of situation just now, it's so much better than what we've had for the past few years. So PvP is definitely looking good. now. They still need to do a lot of vehicle balancing, weapons balancing, shield balancing, all that jazz. We're still in development. But they're aware of issues. They're trying to do their best. It's a very small team that deals with this sort of area. If they if they knock out the park, you know, in a few more patches, it'll be uh, it'll be really nice, so. And then each to their own what you um what you're looking for, you know? That pretty much sums up PvP. Obviously, if you're into like Arena Commander uh, and that kind of jazz, you know. I'm on the same server. I think I might be on the same server. Yeah, the reduced desync is just a very hypeable kind of not to get too hyped about it kind of situation, but it's just nice to hopefully have some ability to return to BUB. Hey Chody, how are you doing today, sir? Oh sevens to you. So again, I take I take any quality of life patch over for other things, you know. I generally would have quality over life over content. Because at least then, you know, I can get um, some justification out of the actual game. 
happiness, that kind of stuff. I'm not somebody that, like, I've never been somewhere like, start, S, uh, CIG has to pump out the content every patch. I want every mechanic under the sun fixed and, and stuff like that. I, I don't care about that or, or, or more things like, you know, salvaging has to come out. No. I generally would like some um, basics completed or at least at a stage where everyone's happy with it, you know? The game, no joke. In the past, in the past, um, I'll go here. The game in the past year, even though we've not really had any like quality of life fixes, there are some con like mechanics being added in, aka the clouds and the clouds started off janky and they're pretty solid now we've had you know we're still waiting for like the map updates and stuff but CIG know about this they also want a visual map update but I showed this one earlier on today and this shit impresses me personally right watch this What we have right now. 317. You know? Let me just uh, level off to make sure I'm not gonna crash here. You know, just a small change makes a huge difference to something we've been to many, many times. Visually more pleasing, you know? Ursox, hey, dude. I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. Look, I mean, look at that! It just changes it, you know? Again, just... A wee subtle thing, right? Let me just cut my engines here. You know? Look at this one. Yeah. What difference does that make, eh? Now, obviously, you can't fly into the clouds and they're not like big fluffy entities that everyone wants it to be. But for me, having a bit of depth to the game makes a big bit of difference. As I've always explained to people, the difference between Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous, so they're both really good games. Well, let's just take it like, we're not going to get into debate of things like that. Well, I always look at Elite Dangerous as an ocean, the depth of a swimming pool, and Star Citizen, a swimming pool, the depth of uh, an ocean. We don't have loads of solar systems to go to, but the way CIG are building out, by the time we actually go places, all the tech will be in place to make it like, wow, instead of, uh, this looks the same moon that I was at 400 million times, like it is in um, Elite Dangerous, you know? I would rather have more weight for that kind of depth in a video game, with less places to go, but when you go to those places, you're like, Shit! Absolutely incredible, you know? Alright, I appreciate that, Tough. Thank you. Now, obviously, there's a lot to do. Weapon fixes, weapon balancing. Twitch All these things. Have received. Generous hey, and Neutral Boy, thank you very much for Bravo. the free. Make sure you use your subscription points on the giveaway exhibition for April. Get those extra entries for supporting the channel. I appreciate it, dude. Remember that you can use the, the entry system for every single giveaway for every week this in April. So we've got four giveaways, and the fifth one is going to be something out of my own pocket, but I'm not going to do like a Gleam site one for that. 
but your sub will be able to give you 25 extra entries. And if anyone's wondering where the security um, secret codes are, they're at the start screen and the end screen every day. So if you go back yesterday, yesterday's start screen is Friday's code, and at the end of yesterday is Saturday's code. The start of today's show is Saturday's code, and the end of today's stream is Sunday's code. So you don't always have to go back too many videos. I've made it where I just literally watch the first like 5-10 minutes and the last like 30 seconds and you'll get the, the codes that you need. This way you don't have to hang around the channel because I'm, I'm at the stage now where I'm not going to force people to watch me if they don't want. If they want to get involved, help by like subbing, following, all that jazz. The hell am I going to force people to watch stuff if they're not happy with it so you know don't feel that uh, I've, I've set it up really nicely so that covers that I appreciate uh, the prime guys I really do I've had a lot of primes which is really really nice I do enjoy like this is again it's it's the equal amount but I like the prime and the reason why the prime because you can only use it on a channel once every month. You have to use it. You can't set up a resubscription thing. So it does mean a lot when somebody goes, you know what? This douchebag can have my prime. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Hmm. This is not the kind of area I wanted. I was hoping for a little bit of a canyon. Chicanes. Retires, retires, retires. Yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we might get some PvP on this server. I have had word we're back on our previous server. Not the one with the Sentinels, but another one. So, it might get spicy. But I don't think I'm going to be on for too long, so if people are watching the stream and they're like, Shit, I hate this guy, I'm going to get my fleet together to do it. Don't bother, don't waste your time. Come back tomorrow. I'm here every single day in April, um, but I'm not planning to do another 10 hour stream today. No. I'm going to be off in the next, like, 15-20 minutes. I ain't doing eight hour streams every day as much as I love to do it for you guys and I'm very entertained right now I think I'm gonna burn myself out if I keep doing too many crazy hours especially as next week with the Toby uh, the Toby giveaway stuff that they're doing I wanted to try and guarantee putting in 10 hour shows for 13 days straight so I will definitely be making sure that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are quite light next week. Two or three hours of memes. And then we go hard ever uh, on the 7th until the 19th. I think it's the 19th. 7th, 12th, maybe. Something like that, you know. And then we'll relax off again. Maybe 317 is just so enjoyable. Like, even on PTU, that we are doing some crazy hours, but again, the idea is to do a show every day, not a 10 hour show every day. That would be bonkers. That's a good few fucking hours, like. <laughs> Of, lots of swag. Lots of swag. CIG being very generous. Toby Games. I'm trying to see if I can find any other company that would be interested in uh, doing a wee giveaway for you guys. It is funny though. I'm not going to say names of companies, but tough. It has been quite interesting being back for like two days and starting to get the emails again in my private, you know, the company email address. Would you be interested? Wait, wait. 
Where have you been for six months? You know? Why didn't you offer in between those six months? You know what I mean? Where was the email then, you know? I don't like that. Like if they had maybe done it like a month later or stuff, but... No. That was definitely declined. to be adding in like facial hair for characters very very shortly where's that gone where did that go yeah, that did just don't share those pics I know I know Shaved, I could probably do a purple meme. Oh, they worked all yeah, well eyeballs. Is it not? Drop, drop, drop. Like your uh, smooth boys anymore? Smooth boys? Wow. 
Island boys. Swing that time. Too hard on that one. It's not a bad area, actually. Not a bad area, actually. It's weird, like it didn't have any stones or anything. Planning to do so, Dev. Uh, the um, so the the problem you have with canyons and tunnels is the current technology only allows you to build on the surface of the planet or the moon, for example. So all of this is actually above level or above sea level, whatever you want to call it, basically. So they can't actually dig into their planets. However. They have been designing the technology to allow that. So we will have tunnels, canyons, deep trenches, whenever. They're, they're working on the tech just now, you know? So looking forward to that, man. Underground mineables. Yeah, can you imagine having to get a team into like a cavern in some moon asteroid? Oh my god. Oh, that would be so sick. Like, again, I'm not really into mining. Uh, like, the idea of mining. But fuck me, I would love to... I'll deliver miners to the site or something like that. I'm down for that shit, like... That would be so cool, like... And maybe it's like cloudy environment or gassy environment or something like that, you know, pretty hardcore to do so. Again, I'm not really, like, for me, 
Especially with that fight with like fresh and tough mother. I don't generally care about doing the actual killing in the group. It's more the flying. I never rate myself as a good PvPer. I'm in a, a category of PvPers. In that 1% that actually fucking do it. But there's a lot better people than me at PvP, but generally I do feel my flight skills will become of some service down the line. Getting people from A to B, maybe in a war zone, a hot zone, hot dropping. Uh, maybe running in a VIP in the back of a two-seater fighter. And the only way in is that way. You know, there's, there's a lot of things I think about where flight will be a big deal, you know? Landing capitals with no automatic systems, you know? That kind of jazz. That gets me off on that kind of gameplay. I'll leave the fancy flyboys to their shit if they want to go hardcore. And, uh... They can do the killing. I'll do the fucking driving. That suits me perfectly fine. It's own fucking mailman. I'll do that. Oh, I've got a beautiful idea for an interceptor kind of uh, dropship. I would love to sit down with like the guys in the UK and be like, look, get Chris Rubbish on the snowblower. I have a hot, sh a hot drop ship idea that will sell lots. And it's very small, it's very compact, it only does one job, it's got no fucking defense for itself. Received. Thank you for renewing your class two Robert, access. Thank you, I appreciate that dude. Thank you very much for the eight months. Uh, considering SC PvP will both have FPS on foot and ship combat, do you think it would be better to master one? Uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I completely, right, so, if you're sort of thinking that I'm imagining you're going with, I've said to a lot of people for many years that this game will get to the point where you want to specialize in a role in the video game. Mining, medic, foot soldier, ballista, all that kind of jazz, you know, so you are dependable. Because you can also do other jobs as well, but being a master of one, there's very few times, like, um, spitballing here. Did anyone ever play the MMO Saga of Ryzen? I was actually a GM for that game back in the day. But when I played it, one thing that was really fucking cool was it was very difficult to level up crafting. Very, very difficult. So you had people, you donated all the materials that you had to, so they would craft gear and level up, so they always had, like, there was one person that was just super high level. And in that game, you had the ability to go to that master of craft that would get you the best weapon so you could actually use it. And I see that in Star Citizen where I would rather have, like, five people who are incredibly hardcore FPSers that know their shit, they work well together, than 15 monkeys that have no idea of what they're doing in this game. It's the same as why my organization is always very, very small. And I just don't openly recruit people, and I don't just let any bozo into the, the organization. I like to pick who comes in. Because I would rather have, like what you guys saw, you know, an hour back, Myself, Tough Mudder, and Fresh taking on multiple Sentinels, multiple Connies, and no losses. That's amazing, you know? What's the accent? I'm Scottish, but can't seem to pinpoint. Uh, born Midlovian, Pete. And I went to uh, an English private school. So, I have, like, a weird accent. But I now live in the Highlands, you know? where my, my Scottish clan actually is situated, Clan Chisholm. But yeah, I was unfortunately born in Midlovian, went to a private school, which is shit. So I don't really have like a, a strong Scottish accent, maybe just like a little, Pooch Prime little sub bit. Received. You're Generous only five, nice, and nice, nice. Clever. Bravo. If you don't mind me asking, like what area of it? 
Nice content. Thank you. I appreciate that, dude. And again, thank you very much for the Prime as well. Very, very generous. Make sure you get into vol or involved in the giveaway that we have on the go. Exclamation mark giveaway. Uh, no, not giveaway. That'll just point you to the website. Exclamation mark April. We'll give you all the details. And because you're subbed, you can use the extra points and stuff like that. So yes, yes, yes. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. A village called Kelty, me. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know that one off by heart. Like, I basically go with, like, five sort of areas, like, you know, like, Kirkcaldy, Ely kind of area. That's what sort of jumps into my head when I think about it. But, yeah, welcome in. I appreciate you as well. Uh, but yeah, Saturn, that's where I kind of see it with this game. Right now, you kind of do whatever you want. You don't really care because the game is in development. Oh, in between Kinross and Dunfermline. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, thank you for letting me know. Um, I look at it that right now, it doesn't really matter where you kind of specialize. But I definitely think if this game ever opens up with a lot of choice for players to do, I personally would rather recruit somebody that is good at one thing and you can sort of get their level up on other things slowly. You know what I mean? I'm not looking for somebody that has no idea of what they're doing in this game and then I'm like, well, what department you want to go to? What area of the game do you specialize in or want to specialize in? What do you fancy the most? And they're like, I don't know. It's like, well, I, I can't work with that, you know? If you're a pilot and you're wanting to fly a certain size of ship, I can work with that. If you're wanting to do FPS shooting, be like a sniper, I can work with that, you know? I'll allocate a small drop ship to drop you off at distance on, in hot zones and stuff like that. You can do these sort of things when you know somebody enjoys that kind of air. Are you a miner? Are you an industrialist? You know, do you want to do refining? Do you want to be in a big, giant Orion crunching through asteroid belts? Do you want to be rescuing people SAR style, you know? The game offers a lot more than what I think a lot of people understand. They're like, you know these organizations that literally say we do everything? They've got a department for marketing, a department for mining and stuff. Those organizations will be shit at this game, I feel. I would rather actually get involved in an organization that's smaller, that specializes in mining or specializes in salvaging because you know that they'll know their shit. When you've got an organization that has like 500 people and they're all in different departments and they're like, oh, but I want to do PvP. No, you're in the mining department. You have to go mine today. You know, it's kind of... it's. It's weird, personally, you know? Nobody can micromanage that kind of shit. Had to mute the stream for a few to watch uh, some of your YouTube content. If you're looking at the memes of the, sh the short statue fire, I appreciate it. There are a few meme -y ones in there. I need to get back into doing more shorts, but obviously I've been away from Star Citizen for like 60 days. So I've, I've not really been in the mood to do content, but we're going to be doing the Logan stuff very clo um, very soon. Long as this 317 patch comes out nicely. And I think definitely Tough Mud has got like a little bit of a buzz right now. And, you know, we'll get that shit out. We'll get multiple people involved. It's going to be good. Uh, first off, uh, Monkey, Monkey's included. If you can't work with a team, you won't be part of a team. But my thinking is that in the same way you might have people who specialize in one thing and the exclusion of all else, there might be people who specialize in a wider area not to allow extra ability. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, if you're wanting to do multiple things and you don't really want to put your down yourself as like, I'm a PvPer or I'm a miner, I want to kind of play with everything and you're not wanting to be a master of one, then that's fine, you know? I think you can only go to a certain level it, with that mentality and that's not me trying to be like rude or anything like that it's generally like you know in hardcore games you have a hardcore team and they will specialize in doing something like for example if you had like an esports group like method they have their hardcore raid group and their hardcore pvpers and it separated that one under one flag though and that works to a certain degree i just don't I would never work with somebody that is like, I want to do everything in this game. I, I don't have time for that because, again, for me, I my group specializes in killing. 
hitman kind of style. So there would be never a need for me for somebody to go, oh, I'm really, I'm really good at mining. Can I join your organization? No, I would actually just rather hire you separately than have you in the organization because the moment you get flagged with the same group as killers, it gets weird by other people making it weird. And again, I've got a lot of people on my list, like Wyverx, who may be lurking still on channel, who does like who wants to do salvaging with his organization, and maybe I'll find somebody that wants to do mining, or get another group that like to scout out locations and they like to do the sneaky around kind of shit, just so I can put down maybe an outpost that nobody knows about. You know what I mean? I would rather, you know, headhunt groups that do a special job or they're more interested in that kind of area than an organization or a group that claim they do everything because again you know I just don't think it's going to work in the grand scheme of this game like if you're going for like super super kind of end game kind of vibes you know if you're just gonna play the game and hang out with people on comms and do stuff then that's cool you know any organization can do that. As long as you've got good people to vibe with, any organization, whatever they do, you know, as long as you've got a group of people that you vibe with yourself, they vibe with you, done deal. If you want to go into the hardcore kind of area of specializing in a certain role, you can do that in Star Citizen. But I'll be very interested if, like, an organization that is just general rabble ever achieve anything in this game. They most likely have all the people to build massive alliances and stuff like that, and then it'll just take like a small group who know what they're doing to just whittle you down. Saw it in Eve Online all the time. Big alliances fall because they get too greedy. Big organizations, big corporations fall because they get too greedy in these type of games. Sandboxes and stuff. And then they get people chewing away inside internally, spies, all that jazz. Because it's funny enough, it's easier to infiltrate uh, like an organization or corporation, especially in EVE. Befriend everything and then disintegrate it when they give you the rules to access everything. And it happens like... It's all the time. Again, we're talking about, you know, we're probably all dead before that kind of content comes out and starts us. <laughs> Let's just be lucky if they actually finish off Santa. <laughs> With every mechanic that everyone wants. Because when you actually see the, the promised list of like data mining and data farming and farming, exploration, scientific, all this stuff, it's just like, holy crap, it takes you like two years to get salvaging out. How many years do I have to wait for post box delivery, you know? Or like uh, an in game guild kind of system, so... Ah, it's mental, like, absolutely mental. When you think of, like, the grand scheme. I just found a 36% Quantarock, 800 meters from Grim Hex. Risky. Is that good? 36% Quantarock? What would that net you? What kind of money are we talking about on a 36 Quantarock? I take it would depend... A quarter of a mil? How long would it take you to mine that? Hey, Link. Welcome in. Happy Sunday to you. Not every org can have 150 players, so some amount of adeptity will be important. Yeah, very true. Ten mins? And do you have to refine it, or do you just dump it somewhere? I can't remember if you... Are you going to go and refine it? I'm wanting to know which server you're on as well, and can you give me a warping point? <laughs> I promise I won't kill you. I promise. <laughs> Nine hours or so to refine? That's pretty cool. So you get like a quarter mil when it's refined, or will you make more of that quarter mil? You got a quarter mil after the nine hours, or do you get the quarter mil... Like, if you were just to sell just now. Oh, yeah, I know, Chris. I know. Oh, shit. NPCs. Bandits. A fucking miss. Oh, God. What have we got here? And what's this one? 
Uh, oh, fucking hurricane, let's get the mist dead. No. Oh god. Chopper Harley. Spin. They're all bunched up together. That's it. Look at that tornado. Tornado of ships. Mmm. Mmm. Spiraling up and up and up. Oh, oh. Bit of desync there. That's fine. We won't have that in the next patch. Or maybe it won't be as bad. One down. Let's quickly just get those shields up to 100%. Keep the tornado spin going. Hi, guys. And the hurricane. Cutlass will be the last one, because the Cutlass is just over there. Ah, uh, okay, that's not good. That's not good. That's a player. That's your fucking player. Let's quickly get down this guy. I bet this is this guy's NPCs. Probably, like... Probably killing... Am I... Am I griefing this guy? Whoa! Oh, ho, oh, oh, oh. What do we have here? We... Oh, is that a Cutlass? Might be a Cutlass. I have to get a little bit lower. I'm gonna get rid of the hurricane. It's almost dead. This guy's coming in pretty fast. I have no missile toad. Let's get up to this. I want to kind of keep where I can see the guy fall back a little bit here. Possible. Possible. He fired a missile at me. Some missile is coming in. Oh, that NPC is there. Where is our topper Harley? There he is! It's an invisible ship! There is our player! Right on my crosshair. The NPC is tacking. Let's get rid of the NPC. Actually, you know what? Maybe... Maybe... Is he going? Where are we going? Let's get rid of the NPC in case it turns on me. But there is a cutlass that I can't read our log. Love that bug. So glad it's in the game. Hi. Can you please stop janking around so I can just kill you? Because uh, I think the cutlass is gone. I don't see any gunfire. I'm not taking any damage. Oh, Nelly. Boom. I can't see me. Target Maybe he can't see me, which would be a good thing. Let us find Shubin. Shubin's over here. There could be a Cutlass around us. One would not be able to tell, though. When the missiles start coming, that's when we'll, we'll, we'll work that one out. hope the radar bug is uh, fixed. 317. I will be, that's like a top priority of mine to chase it, because again, we saw the cutlass coming in, or the player coming in, but then the bug kicked in, and uh, they're unable, they're not seen on radar, so you can visibly see them, but you can't actually target them because radar is connected to the HUD. So, I don't know if there's a player somewhere around me. But I have a feeling because maybe I killed their NPC, they're gonna be pissed off and... Keep moving for now. Looks kinda clear. I don't see any, like, dark spots anymore. Possibly good. I'm gonna risk it so I can quickly catch him chat. I'm gonna face this way though, cause... Good chance of in that direction, it'd be this way. I think warping fixes the radar bug. 
as you can see him again to it breaks on a different target. I'll try that then. PvP is my PvE. Iceburn, watch out, did. You gotta ask for uh, permission to post unless you're a subscriber. Hey, new. Is this a comeback? <laughs> Don't call it a comeback! Uh, exclamation mark 30, exclamation mark April, exclamation mark Toby. That will explain everything. It's not so much a comeback, it's I'm working with companies for April and if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a partner on both platforms. YouTube and uh, Twitch. I'm kind of at the situation where I'll, I'll stream where the hell I want. You know what I mean? Four sixty seconds exactly. Yeah. Don't thank me yet. That's very true. Right. So you're saying this is probably clear, is it? That's kind of good if that's the case. Okay. What do I play myself out with? I'll have this, and fuck it, we'll, we'll play this, this will be quite good. So we got Shubin available to us.
be like that one. We're hitting that corner too well. You know what I actually want? I know, I know what I want. I know what I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, gotta come in.
Win. Hostile incoming. Under die. Old merge pass. There you go. 
Don't see many hundred series? I know, I know. If Falcons heard music, they would like this. <laughs> Falcons! Oh, wait, is it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got, I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to find the other place. This way, I think. A little lost, actually. Where is the good part? Ugh. Maybe this way?
Oh shit. No, 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 don't break the wig. Yeah. I can seem to be cursed these days. I right, concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Let's do this way. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, joystick's gone. It's gone again. Yeah. <laughs> why, why can't I get this fucking song done? It's gone. It's disconnected itself. Fuck's sake, like... I don't know why this is causing so many issues these days. Boo! Why do you keep disconnecting, like... Need to maybe grease you up a little bit more? I wonder if it's snagging on something inside it. Ah, fuck's sake. And I was jamming as well. Bollocks. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. I got robbed. I'm going to set this up a little bit easier so I can try and maybe get this in locked in. So I'm going to take off the, uh, the Z axes or make it loose so it's straight up. And then tighten it off this way. If uh, anyone's there. Oh no, you can't see it. Fuck. Uh, maybe if I do this, this. Oh god, you can't even see that anyway. Anyway, basically straightening off the... Let me get myself out of the way. You can see here that this allows you to angle whatever you want. I'm going to straighten this off to actually fit it straight. Instead of trying to fit it angled. Didn't you run out of fuel? No, no. Basically, this part here that connects to this part, disconnected inside the joystick, and I lost complete control. It wasn't because of the fuel, literally. The moment I started the rotation, I couldn't do anything about it. It was happening uh, yesterday or Friday, and we had the whole of yesterday, I think, okay. So, uh... Try and get it sorted. That's it. Plenty loose. I think it's just pulling on something. Right, see, that's it reconnected. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Restart this. Fuck's sake. Man, that area was actually pretty fucking good as well. What a fucking pissing off nonsense. Anyway, now we will re-angle it. So now that it's straight and that looks meme, we're going to release it and bring it back down. And what I like to do is just basically put my hand in, or sorry, before what I used to do is put my thumb right here and then let it sit on the thumb tighten it just slightly then do a full tighten and what this does is allow me to have it at the angle I like like that but it doesn't my fingers don't bang off the actual in-between part what's the benefit of angle grips uh, right so when you're holding a keyboard and mouse uh, legal view bot like this why why is that why do we not have keyboards that are like that you know what i mean it's to be ergonomic so it's better for your wrists and uh jazz like that to have it in that kind of format you know i prefer the z extension i think it's incredible for for left hand 
It is, it is mental. As I've said to people, it's just, it's so much better for your wrist. Um, do you need it on the right? I would always say no, but as I've said, and I don't bullshit when it comes to this kind of stuff. When I got my pedals and I got these Z extensions, I can do shit in the arrow that I could never do with dual joystick. Just dual joystick. And the reason why I can do things differently is when you angle your pitch and your roll, you have a nice straight hand which allows you to really soften off certain things. Is it good for PvP? No. I actually think the Z extension on the right is hindering my PvP. But for what I like to do, which is obviously low flame, and flight in general, uh, it makes a huge difference for me. Pedals arrived. Oh, what um, pedals did you go for? Did you get uh, Verpal or VKB pedals? Like, v uh, Verpal have got the new ones out, which are like kind of like helicopter pedals. Which are pretty uh, dope looking, but again, for me, I would always keep with the MFG crosswinds that I used. It's purely because of the dampener. The dampener is just award winning, as far as I'm concerned. Have you actually tried your pedals recently, Fresh, without the dampener? I had a wee shot of it last night without the dampener, and I nearly barfed at how shit it felt, you know? Dude, like, the moment you take it off, you feel sick. You're like, where the hell did that butter go, you know? And obviously they're good pedals, don't get me wrong, but... That dampener is incredible. So good. Scoot. We'll be on. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I want to fly again, but it's nine hours and a half. That one last fly was an hour and a half. No, oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to be good. I'm, I'm literally going to kill myself. If I keep at this. I'm gonna be good. Sorry guys. It has been a lot of fun, but I'm literally putting in ridiculous hours. And all the ridiculous hour stuff is going to be for next week with Toby. And all that jazz. But yeah, thank you very much for all the follows. Make sure you guys get involved in the giveaway. We have four giveaways courtesy of CIG. We've got lots of giveaways next week with uh, Toby Gaming. Um, they will be providing all of it and all that super duper jazz, um, which is going to be sick. Um, and yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, but yeah, right, let's close the game down. Close the game down. I appreciate all the support with, um... Ha! I like that follow that came in. Ari Neil underscore C-I-G. Holy shit. Look at that. I like that follow. Thank you very much, dude, if you're still there. Look at that. Underscore C-I-G. Jeez. If anyone doesn't know, Ari Neil. Spanish, uh content creator who just recently got hired by CIG to be part of the experience team. Experience team work um, by doing like Q&A and jazz like that. So fucking awesome that another like backer moved into the company to, to work on it, man. It's, that's really fucking cool. Still low flying? Hey dude, at least you're, uh, you're doing it, man. Good on you, like. Incredible stuff. Uh, sorry about the internet drop today, guys. That was a bit fucking shit. But don't worry, guys. We are here for the rest of the month. And we'll see how it goes after that. We have got 30 days of streaming. Lots of giveaways. Lots of swag. Lots of memes. Hopefully Twitch one day we'll get received. into... Generous and the clever. Bravo. Generous and clever. Uh, Madling, thank you very much for the 60 months. Good to have you back. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, dude. Um, thank you so much for coming in. Right at the end, with the good stuff, I appreciate it. Make sure you get your extra stuff in the getaway, Madden. You're supporting me financially, I'm going to support you by giving you some big boy entries into all four giveaways. Remember, you can use it every week 
and secret codes are at the end of the show and the start of the show. You guys will learn it. It's all available in VODs. There's no restrictions to the VODs, anything like that. Um, you'll work out. I'll literally show you in a split second what I've been talking about. Uh, who we got? 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 That's on. Um, let's see, right at the bottom. Any names, cameras, English, anything I recognize, maybe somebody jumping into the channel. I owe some raids to Starborn. Anyone I owe raids to? Um, I did, I did Captain Burks yesterday. Thornburg, there he is. I owe a raid to Thornburg. He's an awesome dude. He has supported me over the weekend. I'm going to support him back. He's got a monthly sub goal if you guys want to be super, super generous as well. Um, I will be back on tomorrow morning, afternoon, all that good stuff. I appreciate your faces. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask if you have to or if you prefer to. Thank you so much for all the subs, gifted subs, resubs, primed out of your fucking minds. I appreciate you. Stay safe. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look, look. There's today's coat. Look how fucking easy that is. Now imagine if you go to the start of the VOD, right? You go to the start of the VOD, you will get yesterday's code. And if you go to the start of the video of yesterday, you'll find another code. It's that fucking easy, guys. It's that fucking easy, you know? And hopefully we will get... We will get to play PTU at some point this week. We're definitely going to wait for a patch and all that stuff. But I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow morning. Appreciate you. This big mesquite Murph. How can I help you? What are those codes for the giveaway, uh, Flack? Exclamation mark April. We have four weeks of giveaways courtesy of CIG to give back to the community. This week is for uh, Cutlass Steel LTI game package. And we've got loads of swag next week with Toby. 30 days of love. And I appreciate you guys for being here. Fire Phoenix, X Matrix, Revise, Double Bubble Boy, Mad Link. Awesome to you guys, Chris, Falk, Tough Mudder. Appreciate you guys. Stay safe. Catch you later.